What's up, my friends? Listen, we're going to pray and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to pray. I, I, listen, I know you're doing all the right stuff. We're going to pray because it's something that you're overlooking. Like we're we're sharing our energy. You got to understand how strong energy is, how transferable energy is. And that's what's throwing you off. You're sharing your energy with the wrong people. So don't don't the length of the relationship doesn't signify the strength of the relationship. And we got to get, stop getting caught up in that because it's ruining your life. There Heavenly Father, we come to you as gracious as we can. Lord God, we come to you humbly. Lord God, we come to you in all gratitude. Thank you. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We understand that regardless of what's not right in our life, it could always be worse. So we thank you for interceding for us, Lord God. We pray that you forgive us for our sins. Cleanse us of all unrighteousness, Heavenly Father. Forgive our children for their sins. Cleanse them of all unrighteousness, Lord God. Cover them, Lord God. Bless them. Let your angels encamp around them, Lord God. God, help them to be who they were created to be, Lord God. Help the evil schemes of the wicked backfire on the wicked and benefit the righteous, Heavenly Father. Lord, we're praying for increased strength, Lord God. We're praying that you show us us more vividly, Lord God. Show us ourselves more vividly in our behavior, how we're wasting our life, how we're not in alignment with our truth, Lord God. Show us that the wrong relationship, being unequally yoked with someone for six months to a year can throw us off course for 10 years, Heavenly Father. Show us, Lord God. God, that we can choose to sin, but we can't choose the consequences, Lord God, how sin is life-changing and long-lasting, Heavenly Father. Help us, Lord God, to understand that we are to give no place to the devil, Lord God. Show us who's poking holes in our boat, Lord God. We're sitting there trying to accommodate them and, and help them travel and help them to be their best selves when they're trying to sink our boats, Lord God. Show us who's with us and who's not with us, Lord God. But first, show us ourselves, Lord God. Help us to understand that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, we thank you that no weapon formed against us will prosper, but you never said that no weapon will be formed, Lord God. A lot of these so-called friends and so-called relationships are weapons in disguise, Lord God. They're sent to deter us. They're sent to throw us off course. They're sent to take our energy, Lord God, to help us not to become who we were created to be, Lord God. So show us who we are and show us who everyone else is, Lord God. Help us to have more intimate encounters with ourselves and more intimate encounters with you, Heavenly Father, so we can see people for who they really are and see ourselves for who we really are. Help us to be brutally honest, Lord God, with ourselves. Lord God, and help us to be understanding and more patient because we understand that patience is God's plan to give us whatever our hearts desire as long as we're in your will, Lord God. So help us to be a better steward over our energy, over who we allow in our lives and who we let come close to us, Lord God. As T.D. Jake said, when we approach our purpose, our body takes on the form of an arrow. Our head becomes the point because nothing becomes more important than us hitting our target. So let us to focus more on the target and less on the people because the truth is, while you're approaching purpose, focus on purpose because when you hit that point on that target, everyone that's not a part of your purpose will fall off because they can't, they can't hold on to that point. Lord God, your shoulders slant down. They can't hold on. They can't use you. So stop focusing on the people and focus on purpose. Focus on God. Focus on love. And then you will live the life of your dreams. Lord, we thank you. We adore you. And we love you for all the things you have done. Amen.